So at what point, I mean, I read a little bit about your story that you started off in um, real estate, then you moved into event management. Um, but you're, you're, you're a kid from LA. You said you didn't grow up with a whole lot of money when you were a kid. Um, I assume you weren't a farmer in the middle of LA. How, how, does, how do you make that leap to say, you know what, I, I'm gonna, I, I think I read somewhere you had, you had a, a house in, was it Laguna Beach or uh, anywhere, so, somewhere along and you, you had someone else doing it. You joked about having someone else doing your gardening and your, yeah. uh, and, then, and then all of a sudden you're, you're buying 100 acre plots in Paso Robles and you're, you're becoming a farmer. How does that, how was that transition? I don't know that you can even explain it other than I think I probably was talked so much shit to from my friends that, oh, you'll be back in six months. You, you don't even do your own landscape. You don't even know how to mow a lawn. And uh, I used to laugh and say, why would I ever mow the lawn? My time is way too valuable. I, I took the, like, you know how much that cost me to mow that lawn? Right. Like the deuce bag, and, uh, and then I get out here and I got no money. So we're broke. So I was forced to do everything. And then I got to the point where if I didn't work with my hands, I'd go back out and do something in the vineyard at night. Like if, if I had to do computer work that day, I would literally go out, pull, come out of my skin and go out into the vineyard and prune vines or fix a pipe or, you know handle clean out irrigation lines, something hiking up and down the hills, you know, uh, to, it was, to the point it was just every day, and you just, it's all you know. And, and it happened pretty damn quick when you realize, you know, fuck, I got a lot of land and I don't really have any money. Yeah, I didn't think about that. So 